Uh, based on the first models that we ran that I was able to take a look at just before our call with the president, uh, we were able to determine that under basically what is a worst case scenario, uh, the coronavirus uh, spread and its impact could begin to outpace our health care capacity in a certain region down in the Orleans Jefferson region um, within about seven to 10 days uh, without additional support from the federal government. Again, this is a worst case uh, scenario and we are continuing to run different models and we're engaging all of the experts that we have here in Louisiana and we're asking for experts outside of our state to take a look at it too to make sure that we uh, have the best estimate of what we should expect and prepare for. Uh, obviously, we have an urgent need to increase our medical capacity because that's the only part of the equation that we are somewhat in control of. Uh, so we are doing those things. But the other side of the equation is minimizing the rate at which coronavirus is spreading across Louisiana. This has been our goal since day number one. That's why we put in place mitigation measures um, that became uh, increasingly uh, res restrictive in terms of human contact and movement uh, and, and so forth uh, over time. Mitigation is absolutely key. Um, and I am, again, urging, I'm imploring every resident of the state of Louisiana to understand that you have a role to play. Whether or not you're in a high-risk category, every person is capable of contracting and spreading this infection. Uh, so we need everyone to adhere to the precautions that we have put out. Uh, everything from the closures uh, to limitation of crowd sizing, following the social distancing, washing your hands, controlling your cough, all of that and much more is incredibly important. We have to slow the spread of the virus. Um, and, and you've heard it referred to as, um, as basically flattening the curve so that we take this duration of this outbreak and we extend it over a longer period of time. That gives our healthcare community a longer time to ramp up, increase their surge capacity, and it also prevents more demand from being placed on them in the very near term. So that, that's why we're doing those mitigation measures. Um, and look, it, we've been saying for several days now that the case count in Louisiana on a per capita basis is among the highest in the country. So what I said to the president should surprise no one because I've always said that, that we're most concerned about exceeding our capacity to deliver health care. Um, and it stands to reason that the health care infrastructure that we have, that any state has, is sized to meet the demands of the population. And so while we don't have the highest raw count of cases in the country, on a per capita basis, we're right up there at the top. And in fact, if you rank ordered the raw count of all of the counties and parishes in the United States of America, Orleans currently comes in at number seven. Orleans Parish is no long, nowhere near the seventh largest parish or county in the country by population. And I can illustrate that by telling you that currently number eight is Cook County, Illinois, which is where Chicago is. So this is a very, very serious situation. And I know that's a sobering analysis uh, but it is entirely consistent with what we've been telling you for days now. Uh, and that's why we need people to take all of these precautions seriously. And as we also have been telling you for several days, as the testing capacity and the throughput capacity of our labs is increased, and as we have... Uh, commercial labs coming online with significant testing, we are going to see more cases in Louisiana. Now, it is helpful. It is, it is distressing to see the case, cases rise, but it's actually helpful because it gives us a better idea of what we're dealing with. Um, and we're not flying in the blind so much. And this is going to continue over the next several days. So I want to continue to prepare people in Louisiana um, that, uh, that this situation will get uh, more severe more, much worse before it actually plateaus and then gets better. 